stats, the spats, the scores, and more on the weekend sports wrap-up. A new half hour on Sunday night on KPTV 12, Portland. I want to straighten out on Tom Peterson. I gave you the wrong information. They're open to midnight Sunday. And then all day Monday, they're open up until 9 p.m. So it's midnight Sunday. Okay, gang. The uh, official challenge out by Rocky Johnson for a stretcher match to the man you're looking at, or David Schultz, Dr. Dior, Rip Oliver. For uh, the interview time, which is the rest period between rounds, Buddy Rose did not leave the ring. He stayed in the ring. Heading in the ring. The referee coming down the aisle. Bell rings. Three out there talking to Rose about the bell is rung. Get in here and wrestle. Kurt Heading. I don't know would it be too corny to say getting the upper knee. Now Rose coming back. Now Rose suddenly has a different attitude. Rose just came up the aisle and yelled, Bottom is supposed to be a wrestling match, not supposed to be trying to hurt one another. And if you've seen Rose wrestle even once, you know that that is a complete change of attitude and maybe because of the situation he's in. Right back to the half crab, and we could have two straight falls here. This is an awfully tough one. He's got it low. That is to say that the other leg is flat. Now he's bringing it up high to get more leverage, but if he gets that right knee underneath him, it's the only escape except to get to the ropes. Except to get to the ropes. Sandy Barr, not calling it the uh, yet apparently did or and he decided to jam that knee into the mat it is a no DQ match so there really shouldn't be any calling of it for being in the rope he's trying to shove his foot down his mouth he is trying to shove Buddy Rose's size 13 right down his mouth and he got it done only momentarily, that's the first time we've ever seen that one. And over the years, many have threatened to do it. Kurt Hennig working on the knee. Remember now, he's got a bad knee also, but so far he's not allowed Rose to get at it at all. Referee not counting because there is no DQ. Watch out. Henning. Let his knee get in range. And Buddy Rose hammered on it. The left knee of Kurt Hennig's, which has been hurting a lot of people, including promoter Don Owen, said last weekend again this week, told me that he said, I don't believe Hennig should be back in the ring. He said it last week. I think he should give it another week's rest. Whoa! Eddie Rose catching it on side the head. And Rose gets a shot on Eddings' knee. And Rose going outside. Kurt Heading now the one in trouble. And uses a chair on it. And again, steel folding chair pounding on the left knee of Kurt Hennig. Rose gingerly walking around the ring, trying to get some of the circulation back and the pain out of his own left knee as he has been working on headaches. Kurt Hennig. And now the tide has turned. Buddy Rose as things going his way, at least for the moment.
The flag being worked on. Kurt heading in trouble. His left knee that was injured already. Remember that Rose had that advantage. His knee was healthy going into the match last week. He had it worked on pretty good. He had it worked on down at Salem. He had it worked on here tonight throughout first fall action and in here to the second fall. But it is now Rose working on Hennig. Rose has injured many a wrestler. Hennig has never put anyone out of action. He looked like he was working at it with a vengeance, but he let himself get into a position where his opponent could get at that very, very weak spot, which is his left knee. And finally he kicks off. Rose goes sailing through the ropes. He's coming back in. Let's see if Henny can protect himself. Henny gets to the left knee of Playboy and again. And again. See if Henny could come back. He won the first ball. Body drop, and it is Henny back in command. The scissors on the leg. Now bending that leg sideways, the knee. And all the strain on the ligaments. The worst possible thing that can happen to not only an athlete, anyone, as far as the leg injury is concerned, is to have torn ligaments, particularly the inside ligaments. And that is exactly what Kurt Henning is working on now. He is literally trying to tear those ligaments if they're stretched. It's painful enough, but torn ligaments take months and months and months to recover from. And that's exactly where this hold puts the pressure. However, Kurt Hedding's left leg is hurting too, remember. And the Playboy's working on it. Laying back. Trying to get some relief. Playboy almost counted out. The Playboy crow hopping around on one leg. The left knee is hurting. Is Kurt going to go out after him? He's going to grab him from inside the ring. Slam the face into the... Hey, friend, watch out, buddy. Got a hold of the leg outside. Wraps it around the ring post one time. Goes to the knee with the steel folding chair. And again. And again. It's a no disqualification match. Keep that in mind. Rose takes him out to the middle of the ring. And he's going to turn him into a half crab position. A half crab, the crowd. We want Kurt. He's their cry. I don't know how Henny can hold out long against this with an already injured knee coming into the match. And this pressure probably is the most painful of all the holds. He's trying to work it to the side. He's up on one knee. He got that right leg up. He goes to work. Maybe he can get out of it. Elbows, smashes, and that right leg is taken flat again. We mentioned that earlier when Hennig had the hold. And he has to give it up. He has to give it up. We're all even at a fall of peace. Buddy Rose wins the second fall. And our main event, the first of our double main event later on, Oliver defends his championship against Rocky Johnson. 
Remember, we'll be bringing you uh, what happened there after we go off TV. You can hear it on radio, KYXI Radio, tomorrow morning. Kurt Henning, and he is hurting. We're going to be back in a moment. We've got some exciting things to tell you about first. Here's Laura Parker from RF Talkin'.